Hi there. I thought I'd show you a few vertical reflexology techniques for the hands. Uh, they're on weight-bearing hands with the idea in vertical reflexology, VRT, that by placing for a very short space of time uh, hands or feet in a weight-bearing position, we work the whole body through the dorsum of the hands. And just to recap about this concept, every reflex in the body that we're used to on the palm of the hands or the sole, the planter of the foot, is worked three-dimensionally through the dorsum of the hands and the feet. And we usually add VRT at the beginning and end of a classical reflexology session, but we can also use these sort of techniques just for people for first aid or for you to offer it to the client at the beginning or end of a treatment. So we're going to look at headaches and uh, sinus issues, possibly toothache or neck ache. And everything I do on one hand would be mirrored and repeated on the other to balance the body, even if it's a one-sided problem. So we can work the hands, obviously, in the passive way with reflexology. VRT often works, usually, the hands weight-bearing, so we can work the whole body from the dorsum. But in this case, there's special little techniques where you work the weight-bearing fingers. We don't touch the palmer area because the tendons could be taut there. So we're just working on thumbs and fingers. And we can work, use a little bit of cream, but not much if we're working at the sinuses, just to work down that fleshy area of the fingers and the thumb, up and down. Me, um, we can work medially and laterally at the same time on every finger and we can also work the thumb or we can work dorsal palmer um, and that's when the little bit of lotion is really useful for the sinuses. So we can work the whole head area, we can be approaching the neck and on the thumb we could work right round the base of the thumb and if there was a particular part of the neck that was aching say on the left side or the lateral or medial side, we could target that. Maximum 30 seconds when weight bearing, often less. If it was toothache, we could work round the knuckles of the uh, fingers and the thumbs, which is where you can have neck. Uh, uh, you can have the neck reflexes here, of course, but there are also tooth reflexes, and then again here. So. Using your own knowledge of reflexology charts, you can uh, work the same reflexes but weight-bearing in two different ways. The other way that you can use this uh, technique is if you have cramp in the toes or a client has cramp in the toes, they wake up in, at the night, in the night, they can put their fingers on a book or a table and then work the referral areas for the toes in the fingers, just like Ingham used all referral areas. Uh, so this is a very good way of going back to some of the Ingham basics and working to relieve cramp in the toes. And the last thing on cramp is weight-bearing VRT on the arm. Referral area for cramp in the calf is upper part of this lower arm here below the elbow and you would press your arm firmly on a hard surface weight bearing and just pinch round and if it's cramping both calves you work on the other arm as well. If it's restless legs you almost strip down the muscles so you work differently weight bearing arm but going up and down the arms and repeat. You can also do that just before you go to bed or advise your clients to in pre preparation to help the body relax and the muscles relax. So just to finish off I'm going to show you two books. I've got a lot of reflexology books I've collected over 30 years. These are very precious. This one uh, Zone Therapy by Joe Shelby Riley is a facsimile printed in 1961 
This is uh, Zone Therapy, Dr. Fitzgerald and Bowers. That was the early one, 1916. It was, it was written and reprinted in 1978. And Christine Walker gave them to me. She's a very well-known reflexologist, hand reflexologist. And uh, so I was grateful for these wonderful gifts. And Dr. Fitzgerald is showing instruments. There are lots of pictures of combs. In the Philippines, I know they use little uh, sticks in modern day, but none of us would be using these or our insurance, I'm sure, would be invalid. Here are the famous pegs, uh, which are for pain control. And this is um, making the deaf hear, which seems a pretty ambitious uh, uh, sort of comment to make. Uh, but again, early, early stages of zone therapy. Here is a comb which can be used in childbirth. I suppose they think they're pressing on certain reflexes. But this is all a bit of very special history of reflexology, the very origins um, of the more modern reflexology techniques. And we go on to Joe Shelby, uh, Shelby Riley in 1924 published his book on zone th reflex and of course he went on to work with Eunice Ingham who is the mother and founder of modern day reflexology and here is uh, a hand with the little uh, rings not pegs now that are helping uh, the reflexes in the body respond and here are some early charts too. So certainly with um, the Fitzgerald book, you can Google that on Amazon and buy more modern copies of the reprints. But these are rather special because they're so, they're so old and so interesting. But I do hope you will experiment a little with hand reflexology and I hope BRT can help. Thanks a lot for listening.